Bell Aircraft was formed in 1935 by three of Consolidated's leading engineers who remained in Buffalo after the firm moved to San Diego. In June 1936 they began designing a revolutionary new fighter jet, which they called the Aero Cobra. The two most unusual features of the design were the placement of the engine in the center of mass, above the wing and behind the pilot, and the new nose wheel landing gear. The unusual engine placement was expected to provide several benefits. The first obvious benefit was improved maneuverability, the heavy engine was in the center of mass rather than at the tip of the fuselage. Pilot visibility was greatly improved, especially during takeoff and landing, conventional fighters had a long nose that made forward and downward visibility difficult. Many benefits were expected from the new type of landing gear, including much easier control on takeoff and landing, eliminating the possibility of cowling, which had increasingly become a problem for high-powered fighters with large propellers. It also facilitated the placement of powerful armament in the nose, including a large caliber cannon firing through the propeller hub. The first really mass modification was the P-39N, 2095 machines produced. Almost all of them were sent to the Soviet Union, where they were popular because of their robust design and ability to return after sustaining multiple combat damage. Most of the machines had four-wing fuel tanks, supplied as an optional kit. If greater range was not required, low-altitude flight characteristics could be improved accordingly. The rear armor plate was replaced with a bent armor plate, and overall the takeoff weight of the aircraft was reduced from 4128 kg to 3969 kg. The main production variant was the P-39Q, 4,095 machines were produced. At the same time, the total production of Aero Cobras reached 9,558 aircraft. The first variant, Q1, was equipped with two 12.7mm machine guns in the underwing cavities instead of four wing guns. Fuel capacity and armor weight remained within the same limits, but some variants had four blade propellers. From the Q-20 the underwing machine guns were often omitted, Soviet specialists considered the existence of one 37mm gun and two 12.7mm machine guns sufficient and valued the increase in flight performance and maneuverability more. During 1943 the R-39 was quickly replaced in US Air Force units, but continued to enter the air forces of many allied countries. For a long time it remained most important to equip Soviet Air Force fighter regiments, including the elite guards units. The P-39Q was used in many parts of the Eastern Front until the final battle for Berlin. The Free French Air Force used almost only P-39Qs, a total of 1B5, they operated in 1944-45 in Italy and southern France. The last US Air Force unit armed with P-39S was the 332nd Fighter Group in the 15th VA in Italy in February 1944, armed with 75 P-39QS. Over 220 N and Q were delivered in 1944 to Italian Allied Air Force units operating in northern Italy and over the Balkans. Bell had been doing important work on the P-76 fighter with the laminar wing tested on the XP-39E and the inverted Continental W-1430 engine but that work was discontinued. Much earlier, in 1938, the XFL-1 Aerobonite fighter was created for the US Navy, with a shorter fuselage, tailwheel landing gear, equipment for flying from an aircraft carrier, and many other changes. Tests on the aircraft carrier, which proved unsuccessful, took place in February 1941. During the war, however, the US Navy received seven F-2L series Aero Cobras and P-39Q-10S, modified as XTDL-1S. All were airborne radio-controlled targets, although many of the test flights were manned. Serial radio-controlled targets were to be machines designated A-7, but none were built. The last modifications were two-seaters. Almost all of them were obtained by conversion in the units. These were mostly TP-39F and RP-39Q, the latter with dual controls. In each case, the extra cockpit was located ahead of the main cockpit, the armament was missing, and the lantern was tilted to the side. The forewing was lengthened and a long low under fuselage crest was added to maintain track stability. Technical data of the P-39Q Era Cobra. Type single seat fighter power plant 1v1 710 to 83 piston 12 cylinder liquid cooled allison v1 engine 1200 hp 
895 kilowatts, with Curtis 3 blade propeller. Flying characteristics. Top speed, 621 kilometers per hour at an altitude of 2895 m. Cruising speed, 322 kilometers per hour. Operating ceiling, 10973 m. Flying range, 1045 kilometers, 650 miles. Empty weight, 2545 kilograms. Maximum takeoff weight, 3810 kilograms. Span, 10.36 m length, 9.19 m, height, 3.61 m. Wing area, 19.79 square meters. Armament, 137 mm cannon, firing through propeller shaft, two 12.7 mm machine guns in the upper part of the fuselage nose section, two additional machine guns in underwing containers, which were usually not used on Soviet aircraft, one 227 kg bomb under the fuselage.